everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're in Dubai. Ooh, ooh. Why is there just something about being on holiday that literally just makes you feel like the most happiest you've ever felt in your life? I just freaking love a good holiday. I'm literally so excited to be here. It's actually our third full day here today. So I don't know if you can see through the palm trees, but it's been quite windy. Today is the first day where we've actually had a little bit of sunshine. It's been really, really just, cla like not even just windy, it's been like gray clouds, gray skies as well. Connor and Saint have popped to the pool this morning after breakfast while Romeo has his nap. I've just been doing a little bit of work and now I'm about to get ready. I don't know what our plan is gonna be. We have a couple of things. We're either thinking the water park because we are staying at Jamera Beach Hotel, which first of all, chef's kiss most stunning hotel in the world um if you guys watched through my pregnancy with romeo you'll know that for our baby moon we came to dubai and actually the weirdest thing literally the weirdest thing and this was not planned at all Connor and i realized when we were on the plane here that our baby moon last year i think we literally like got on the plane to go to dubai on the exact same day last year how weird is that sorry like how bizarre anyway we stayed at the atlantis last time and absolutely loved it but this time we wanted a little bit of a switch up i feel like the atlantis is a holiday in itself like it's a it's a little bit it reminds me a little bit of vegas like if anybody knows about the huge complexes and monstrosity of how ginormous hotels out there are the atlantis is very much like that and i feel like you can come to dubai and stay at the atlantis and that is like a holiday by itself whereas this time we wanted to explore a little bit more of the um main sort of dubai area so yeah that's why we're staying here and honestly i absolutely love it i was a little bit worried about how kid friendly it was going to be but all my worries have just gone because the staff here are so nice they're so friendly at the restaurants like there are lots of even though it's a really i've just spotted a kind of plant tell me you're a boy mum without telling me you're a boy mum but yeah even though it's like a really really beautiful really luxury hotel there are still lots and lots of families here and lots of children running about so but yeah this hotel i find is just a little bit more adult friendly like there's more going on here for the adults i think than there is at the atlantis so i love the atlantis would we'll definitely go back to the atlantis but i'm happy that we're trying something new this time so every time we come back from breakfast the uh, housekeeping staff make the cutest animals out of towels for the kids they made this morning a little monkey hanging from a hanger we had a little elf yesterday we have to keep them all because saint loves them so much we have an elephant here and then we have a crocodile here this was number one and this guy stayed with us on the floor in the living room the whole time so far so it's a nice little addition to the to the room that's saint's room where romeo is sleeping and then this is our room it's a little bit of a mess right now because i've just been doing some work in here but yeah guys even like we got here they had personalised teddies for the kids and everything. It's just literally so, so cute. And then this is the view. Beautiful. So I've washed my hair this morning. I don't know if that was a little bit pointless if we're going to be going to the water park. But I'm going to wait until Connor and Saint come back from um, the swimming pool and let them tell me how like cold it is and if they're feeling doing a water park this afternoon if it's not that warm. If they don't, then we're going to head to somewhere called Kite Beach. I think that can do. Tell me you're an unprofessional YouTuber without telling me you're an unprofessional YouTuber. This is my tripod. I've been in the game 10 years. Like, I should have known at this point to just bring the tripod. It would be a dream come true if I could go to Sephora in one of the malls out here, but you guys know what it's like. Um, we set foot in a mall, we're heading straight to the soft play. We went to an amazing soft play yesterday because yesterday was very, very like overcast. You guys are coming to Dubai anytime soon and you've got toddlers, you need to go to leo and luma i think it was called and it's in dubai festival city mall which i would rate actually as like the best mall especially if you have children it's a lot less chaotic but you've got all of the same shops it's just as big and they've literally got like the whole top floor is dedicated to children basically you've got like a massive toys r us you've got like an arcade area you've got the leo and luma soft play you've got like race cars it's brilliant so anyway we really really rate that more than went there yesterday i just i feel like i'm gonna need to book a slot in with con and be like this is my sephora time anyway, before we came i bought a couple only a couple of new little makeup bits because 
I don't like to have a full face in the sun. Like, even if I'm not just sat by the pool and I'm actually like out shopping or something, I don't really enjoy having a full face on. So I bought these because I saw these all over TikTok. Originally, I wanted the Color Science like foundation SPF thing, if any of you guys have seen that, but it's literally sold out everywhere. Then I saw these and these aren't the same thing. So I don't think that this is like SPF or anything, but it's the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Glotion. And I bought these two shades and I kind of use this one, this one as a little bit of a base. And then I use this one on my cheeks. And I just really like it because it's a lot, um, it's a lot more natural than like a proper foundation. You guys know me, I cannot resist anything that has the word glow on it. But yeah, guys, I'm happy to be here. Saint is loving it. I feel like we are just about really settled from the flight and the time difference and all of that. Oh my God, guys, Saint has been sleeping in his own big boy bed. I literally can't was not expecting to do that but i just had literally so much anxiety in my head building up around it and i was the same when we took away dummies as well i've already spoken about this on my instagram story so if you guys have watched my instagram stories then feel free to skip but he's just too tall for any travel cot so we just thought let's do this boy bag we smashed it how good is that for me oh my gosh <gasps> special that's a cool get up thank you Half cowboy, half rock star. Love it. The hotel left that in our room for you, didn't they? Look, yeah. it's got your initials on it. Show it off. CS, I've got yeah. one too. I didn't just buy it. I Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, did you have so much fun at the pool? Yeah. What did you do? Tell everybody. I have a little bit thick. No, thank you. I didn't want any. Maybe Dad will have some. Maybe Dad will have some. I'm going to give him one. Okay. Um, executive pool had like a, more of a kid's area. Where oh. they had like a seesaw in the swimming pool and that. Oh. I enjoy it, it's just a bit cold. Is it? So do you want to do the water park or do you want to do the beach? Beach. Okay. Okay, we've made it out, gang. Made it to Kite Beach. We have come to Kite Beach for a little afternoon. And I already love it here. It's very like, just, Perfect, isn't it? Why is Dubai my new literal favourite holiday destination in the entire world? Dubai, might move to Dubai, guys. So basically, they have loads of little food places like this. They how random like they've actually got a cereal for the cafe like that. Like I've never seen that apart from the hype for it in London. But I've never, never seen it. Like apparently it's a really London. famous restaurant in London, but I've never seen like a little part of it. We've come to Bourbone Pizzeria. Bourbon. Oh God. Someone recommended this. At least we think it was this place. They're wearing the cutest little matching hat today. So they got some H&M. I have gone for this beautiful dress from a brand called Anne Louise Boutique. Dresses like this are just my absolute fave. I love them. Very girly today. You look very girly today. You look very pretty today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you oh, thank you. And they serve Pepsi here, so it's my favorite. I'm a Pepsi. Hang on, darling. We need to put a straw in it, don't we? I'm a Pepsi girl. Let me know if you're a fellow Pepsi queen like me or if you're a Diet Coke girl. Cheese! Cheese! Should we take a picture together? Yeah. Cheese! Cheese! Is it nice? Is it nice? Can you have some? Because he's an adult. Because he's an adult, yeah. so he's not allowed any. No. What, this is only for children like you? Yeah. Excuse me, I can see you. That's daddy's. Everything has to be on this side of the table because Romeo is constantly on a wall path. If you ever come out to dinner with us, this is what you can expect. Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh. my God. Hard, it? Wow, man. How cool is that? Daddy wants some of that pizza. That looks yummy. <laughs> this is for you. Aww. Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you move your, oh my god, move your oh pizza, my god, move your pizza down and then move that one over. Okay, Connor and Say are playing on the beach. I've just gone to get some ice cream while I try to walk Romeo to sleep. I don't know if he's gonna go, but we'll see. But Kite Beach, guys, is just such a vibe. Like, honestly, beautiful. People are just like running, biking. Look at these food carts, what the TGI's eyes for them. He's not going to sleep, but he wants some ice cream. <laughs> Is it yummy? <laughs> oh my, you want some more? Daddy, 
delicious. Oh my! So yummy. Good evening, my loves. And I can't believe I've actually got makeup on all, all day today. This is not my usual holiday self. What? Don't done, expect my this <laughs> for the rest of the trip. We are now back at the hotel. What's that, darling? Okay. Come on, come on. And after a buggy. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this wedding. Oh my actual. Connor, are we sure this isn't a film production? Look at that camera they've got. Look at that. Oh, sorry. I'm. A, I actually just need a minute. I've just bumped into the lovely Wakasim Muna that came over to say hello, and they actually told me that they're food bloggers. Wanted to get them on the vlog for you guys. My name is Wakas. I've got a food page called Biggest Dot Bites. We're situated currently in Abu Dhabi, but we're searching for the biggest bite across the world. And now we're looking at travel, looking at lifestyle, Love the it. best vacations. Love it. Looking at a wide range of places, museums and cool Amazing. things to do in the UAE at the moment. A lot of content in Saudi Arabia, content from Oman to come soon as well. Give us a follow. Give us a follow. And they've got, check us out. they're about to get on TikTok. I've just told them they need to get on TikTok, but so do I because I'm scared of TikTok as well, but we're going to get on it together, aren't we? Yeah, that's it. So nice yeah. to meet you, babe. It's so you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what a lot so of fun to bump into you, I know, in Dubai. I know, of all places. See you later, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Our restaurant of choice tonight, new skirt on the beach. This is at the hotel. So we are doing half board with our room, which basically means that you get breakfast and then lunch or dinner. And we didn't even know this before we booked, but a good, I would say at least 50% of like some of the nicest restaurants in Dubai are part of the Jumeirah Beach Hotel chain. So they're all up and down the beach. And with the half board, that means that you get to eat at like some of the nicest restaurants included in the price of the room. So we were absolutely chuffed with that when we found out that, weren't we? We were like, okay, it's literally so many nice restaurants. And Nusker is one of them. This is what I mean about it being child friendly. Like, obviously, this is a really, really gorgeous, like luxury looking restaurant. You've literally got the beautiful view right there. But then they do like mango juice for kids. And yeah, yeah. They bring out colour impacts and stuff for them. Like you're literally never made to feel like I don't know. You know sometimes Mommy. you can go. Through. I don't feel like I have to be policing everything he's doing. You know. I love you. Yeah. My goodness. Uh, is that nice bread? Is that right? Good morning. Good morning everyone. Good morning. <laughs> this isn't fair, Mum has the pram to control. Oh, say, Morning, running race down the corridor. Welcome to your next 20 years, Ellie, of life with boys. <laughs> Good morning to the most gorgeous hotel ever. We are having a hotel day today, so I thought that I could vlog from the start to show you guys what we get up to. A lot of our holiday so far has been very focused on like being quite busy and I don't know like making sure that we're doing loads of stuff. Whereas today it's finally going to be sunny like all day so it's like even blue skies at the moment. So we're going to make the most of it and go to the pool, go to the beach at the hotel. So we're just in the queue for breakfast. This is the main buffet restaurant over here is absolutely huge. Really, really good. It's just really busy at the moment. It actually finishes in 40 minutes. We let Romeo sleep in this morning. He literally had like a, what would it have been? Like a 14 hour sleep. The other day we would have woken him up and like got him on the right track for the day. But today we just said to each other, let's just let him sleep in because I feel like he hasn't really caught up on his sleep since the flight. So hopefully now, you're gonna have a good day. Mm. What are you doing, you special boy? That's your foot! Oh my goodness! We also have access to the club lounge breakfast, which is at a separate part of the hotel. And that's why we've been going for the last couple of days. It's really nice still, but um, it's just a lot smaller. We might go there just because I don't know 
how much availability this place is going to have. We also have the most gorgeous shops up and down here next to the breakfast restaurant. And this shop here is full of the most gorgeous beachwear you have ever seen. Like, look at those swimming cozies. Okay, we've come to the club lounge breakfast because the other place was just so busy. I don't actually think we're going to make breakfast in time. But this is the other place. And they've got this really cool kids bit in here. The Saint the Tours. Okay. Um, it's Daddy. That's Daddy did the day for sit. Can I get him? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a really long neck. You have got a really long neck. And you. But yeah, they have toys, TV, and then they've got like a little kids dining area here, and then this is kind of the main bit, but they've got these really cute kids plates. So, let me sort of see this breakfast. Hello my lovely friends, we are now back at the room, well me and Romeo are. We had a little bit of breakfast and then we walked over to the pool. It's just hard because Saint was literally having the best time ever. Romeo was really tired, he was just a nap. And I always try to let him have, out of his two naps, I always try to give him one nap in his cot a day because that's his best nap and it's usually the first one. He'll sleep for like a solid couple of hours and it's a really good chunk of sleep that he needs. And um, Romeo is a lot better at sleeping in the pram than Saint ever was. Like Saint was a baby that never slept in the pram, which was tricky at the time, especially on things like holidays because it just really made me feel like so bound to the hotel room or the villa like i remember going on a um on a family holiday to spain and that was quite a tricky holiday because like we were out at the beach and like having a great time and saint just did not nap in his pram and actually it was like now i look back on it it was really hard like that was tough in hindsight the years go so quick and now saint is at a stage where he doesn't have any of his naps he's not been having naps now for probably about probably since he turned two so about six months and yeah the first two years of like dealing with naps and things like that can be tricky but I can't believe I'm already on the other side of that now with him and it just it really does go so quickly so even though I I do feel really really sad that like I'm not spending the day at the pool with Saint and like I got there and it was just such a vibe like fun music is playing and obviously the kids are having so much fun in the pool and Saint is interacting and just like having the time of his life and I'm like okay bye but it is important that Romeo gets this nap in his car and then um we've been doing his second nap of the day in the pram we go out or whatever and i think this afternoon we're going to do the beach at the hotel he doesn't love his naps in the pram so it does make it hard he doesn't sleep for very long but the, he's got better as the days have gone on this is like our third or fourth day now and um yeah i think like after his really long sleep last night hopefully i don't know i can just like go out of the hotel room a little bit more but anyway you guys aren't here to hear about romeo's sleep i thought i'd show you my outfit of the day before i get undressed and then go and sit out there so happy that the sun's out this um window like has like a privacy thing on it so it makes it look really overcast and gray but it, it's really really beautiful weather today so yeah this is my outfit for a nice day at the hotel going to the pool and the beach and stuff i've just got my white hamza g my white zara shirt and also these ultra high eyes wide leg trousers by hollister i haven't bought anything from hollister since i was literally about 15 but we went in there before we came out here because they were literally the only place in town that were selling um like summer holiday clothes i've been sleeping on hollister for this long like everything i got from there so nice so comfy also wearing my white h&m sunnies um i had these earrings in just for uh, we were walking around the hotel and stuff with some jewelry this is my mum's watch this old gucci watch it's really special to me i had a dream about my mum last night which kind of set me off to be honest always just always happens unexpectedly doesn't it like i feel like if you if you suffer with like nightmares regularly or just you know vivid dreams and stuff you never expect it to be that night that it happens and yeah the nights i dream about my mum it does set me off and just a couple of things have happened since we've been here like we were sat in one of the restaurants the other day and they played like two robbie williams songs back to back it was angels and she's the one and angels was uh one of my mum's funeral songs and the other one yeah they just they just really remind me of my mum essentially um 
I knew that she was, this, sorry, this is like Frey taking a turn. But yeah, in my dream, I knew that she was dead, but she had come back to life. And I was like, do you know how in dreams, like things are just not how they would go in real life? Like if my mum suddenly came back to life, this is not what I would do, but I was texting her on my phone saying, mum, I'm so lucky to have been given a second chance to have you in my life. Um, like, what do you want to get up to together? And I woke up and it was just shit. It's just shit waking up from a dream like that because yeah, it's just crap. But just your reminder to anybody else who is grieving out there, you know, grief is not you have up and down days with it. It's not like a, you know, linear thing. It's okay to have down days. I'm not necessarily having a down day. It's just when I have something that kind of triggers me like that, whether it's a dream that kind of catches me off guard or, you know, I just have to kind of collect myself for a little bit. I've missed chatting to you guys like this. I feel like I haven't had a moment to just kind of like debrief in a long time. I was actually thinking about this earlier, sorry, I hope you guys don't mind me just getting undressed a sec. That was like an era on YouTube, right? Everything just felt like so fun and and I'm not even just talking about like my videos or my experience with being a creator on YouTube, but like there was just an era where everyone was just like having so much fun with it and there was just I don't know I felt like there was just no problems with it and I'm not saying I feel like there are problems now but recently I've definitely come to the realization that that era was definitely I'm actually just going to stay inside while I finish this chat with you guys that era was definitely when I didn't have kids for me like my vlogs it was just way easier I had more time for myself obviously like anyone who is a mum will know life just is not the same after you've had children and for me it's better like this is not a talk to try and say that like you know I go back on everything I have ever said about how motherhood has just changed my life for the better because it absolutely has I'm just talking about my experience of being a vlogger that I found myself recently like really ha coming to a bit of a Lots of thoughts have been coming to the forefront of my mind about my content and about my vlogs. And as Saint in particular is now getting older, like I don't mind showing him on my videos, obviously it's my daily life, but there is something now that is coming to the surface that makes me feel like I wanna kind of start drawing that back in a little bit. And it's not because I don't enjoy sharing the love of my life like the little boy that made me a mother with you guys i'm so in love with him i'm so proud of him like of course i want to show him off but also there is something about his privacy and his right to grow up without being on his mum's youtube videos and i don't know it's something that i am um, it's just something that I'm kind of going back and forth between in my mind and I need to find like the right balance for me. But then also it's kind of like a bit of a struggle really because my content is about my life and obviously my kids are a huge part of my life. I don't know. I don't know. It's something I'm figuring out. But yeah, I guess it just means that I just haven't had loads of time to kind of debrief about things and really get personal recently and I miss it. I really, really do miss it. I have never once lied when I said that you guys genuinely are like the most wonderful community I could have ever asked for and really do consider you all as genuinely really good friends. And every single time I'm lucky enough to meet one of you guys in person anywhere, if we're kind of out and doing something, to me, it's always like, you don't understand how lucky I feel. Just bump into someone that knows so much about me and is so like gives up their time gives up their evening gives up 20 minutes of their day to come and see what i'm up to I'll never take that for granted and will always think it's the coolest thing ever but yeah just i don't know I feel like a problem shared is a problem halved and it's not even a problem it's just i would just I guess i want to keep you updated with kind of like where my mind is at the moment like, i uploaded a video the other day and I don't think I featured Saint in it at all. And so, of course the curiosity is there. Like, where is Saint? Like, he's part of the fam. 
we miss him but also there were people that genuinely like got offended and that didn't sit right with me so yeah i don't know this is a me problem though very much a me problem so sorry for rambling i'm gonna go and start reading this this finally arrived if you guys watch my instagram stories you'll know looked around so many bath bookshops for this the day before we flew but luckily it arrived i ordered it on amazon next day and it arrived just before we left really excited i've never really read like a fantasy novel before but i definitely have it sizzles with sexual tension was there a review i didn't see that definitely have it in me to be like a fandom girly like ask 13 year old one direction super super vanelli i have it in me so if this lives up to the hype i'll let you guys know but i'm gonna go and start that and get in the sunshine I was going so good with my um, with my food and then we came on holiday and it's just, just all gone out the window but that's what holidays are for am I right? Thank you. Thank you. Every day they've been matching. These ones are from H&M. How adorable. Romeo's wearing a romper and he literally looks about five years old. Romeo's nine month birthday yesterday. I can't believe how quick time is flying. Um, but yeah, anyway, we actually had the news um, just after we came out that my sister Lucy and Jordan and their kids are actually going to come out to Dubai next week. So we've decided to extend our trip. If I just say that in front of saying like that was supposed to be a surprise, I'm really hoping he didn't actually hear that. So yeah, that's made us really excited. It's lovely. Like honestly, we just. Adore Dubai. Adore it. It's perfect for kids. Everything is just so beautiful and pretty and aesthetic. Oh my god, weather's gorgeous. I mean, it was even windy the first couple of days we were here, but even that was totally fine because there are so many amazing things to do for kids that's indoors here, I guess, because in the summer it gets like unbearably hot. But now the sun's out, so I might even get to read my book today. You never know. My husband's making a laugh by. I'm just having a nice I'm going to tell Saint to come and tickle you for Hey! <laughs> How are you? You like it in your bag on the beach? Oh, it's there. Yeah! We're almost doing some grounding. No, we need a bit more sun than that. You need to put it all the way up to the top. All the way up to here. What about you? What's about me? You can. You want me to do it? Yes. Yeah. Because it's a bit hard. Is it? Yeah. You want to film mummy? Hi. Hello. Hi. Same, you're so good at taking pictures and videos, aren't you? Yes. Whoa. Go on then, you start it. Lunch time. cake that looks oh That's my god looks. yeah it looks like my idea of of early time dark. playing tunes as well it's just a vibe these are saints chicken nuggets they're like pretzel chicken stick are they nice baby wow. good job very happy to be here this is what i mean when i say that they're the best travel recommendations come because every single recommendation you guys say they know us yeah 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 he's like this is genius. <laughs> Yay! Let's play tag. Let's play tag. Okay. Let's do it. No tag. You're it. <laughs> it's just a holiday. You're it. But genuinely, like, I just think being in the sun with my babies, like, you just cannot beat it. I said to Connor on the way to lunch, like. 
these are some of the happiest days of my entire life. If you watch my life update video, you'll know that I've just kind of been in a bit of a funk, a bit of a bad way, a bit of a like, kind of slog. And this is just exactly what I needed. Like, I feel like I'm on such a high vibe. I love you to the moon and back. I love you. Oh my gosh, guys. Say, look at that cake. Can I have that one? What, you want that one? This one here. Do you want to have the first bite? Come here, then. Is it nice? Oh, yeah, oh my gosh, that is so delicious what as well. Thank you so much. So yeah, this first attempt of some chocolate cake. Oh, what are you think? Oh, oh my. Is that delicious? Do you like it? Hello everybody. Okay, the time is past five and I'm just about to start getting ready. I'm gonna head out to an Italian for dinner. I feel like this vlog has literally just been all about food, but is that not what holiday is all about? For a second I was like, oh, I really can't be bothered getting ready, but I've changed my mind. I've actually really enjoyed getting ready on holiday this time which is unlike me if you've been here for a few years and like we've been on holidays together and stuff you'll know that a lot of the time i just i'm just never ever ever going to be one of these girlies that like enjoys getting not necessarily getting ready like i like getting ready but like i'm just never going to be a girl that kind of wakes up and puts makeup on straight away if i do i'd actually probably say at home i wear makeup like maybe once a week out of push i just a lot of the time especially being a mum i just i'm like what's the point like what's the point but actually i saw a really good tiktok the other day that really hit the nail on the head for me about it when i say that makeup kind of elevates my confidence and how i feel about myself that's not to say that i like pin all of my hopes and dreams on having makeup on i think we know that it definitely does make me feel differently about myself like i feel better i just feel more awake like i know that i know that tonight if i wasn't going to put any makeup on i'd probably want to be back at the hotel like really early no i just feel like my tiredness would just become my personality do you know what i mean whereas weirdly i feel like when i put makeup on that kind of vanishes a little bit and i like have a bit more of a spark hi beautiful going for a look that i found on pinterest today pinterest is probably my favorite ever app i saw this look on pinterest and i just fell in love but i have five minutes to recreate it so let's see how we go i've got the, i think i've got the dress like i'm pretty sure the dress will go quite well it's just the hair like i need to figure that out dinner vibes tonight Vibe. So we're currently sat at Souk. Can you put it on my face? Can you see mummy in the screen? We're currently sat at Souk Madinat. Yeah. Um, and we're eating, gonna eat some pizza and pasta, aren't we? Yeah. And what do we like here? Um, well, oh, I'm single now. Do you know what, guys? The magic of life isn't in the big moments. The magic of life is in the moments where you get olive oil and balsamic together at a restaurant with your kids and your husband in a lovely warm evening in on Dubai holiday. on holiday. Making some memories. <laughs> cheers. Hi. Cheers to life. Cheers to, uh, cheers to our family and cheers to love. Cheers. Cheers. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss on the lips. Give me a kiss on the lips. Give me a kiss on the lips because I love you so much. I'll wait. 
I actually like to say something to you, Ellie. What's just that? want to say that I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what else are you going to say, you saying? You're the best thing to ever happen to me, and will you be my Valentine? Yes, I will. Yay! Although you're kind of secretly wishing the same actually, oh. didn't you? Maybe you'll Poor nick Romo. you. Maybe they'll steal you from maybe me. Maybe I'll get a nice Valentine's surprise from my five boys on Valentine's Day. While maybe, in Dubai? Well, maybe on the flight home. <gasps> yeah. Maybe I'll have some special chocolates on my on my seat. And only mum's allowed to eat it and that's her Valentine's present. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we all share it in this family, don't we? Yeah. And Yo-Yo is just happy to just sit here and watch. <laughs> Aren't you? You have your piece of bread and you're happy. Mama, mama.